This has been in the works for a while, and the ABC first flagged uh, its existence back earlier this month on the, the Four Corners uh, program by my colleague Angus Grigg. Uh, but it's worth going through in some detail. Essentially, what's happened is that the government of Solomon Islands has signed a deal to borrow just under $100 million uh, from the Chinese Exit Im uh, Import Export Bank, or Exim Bank. This is actually the first time, interestingly, that Solomon Islands has borrowed money from a Chinese state institution since recognising Beijing uh, about three years ago. Now, it will use this money to basically build a whole series of mobile towers, uh, about 160 or so over the next three years. The scale of this is quite extraordinary, uh, particularly for a country with a relatively small population like Solomon Islands. Uh, and there have already been concerns raised by the opposition, by civil society groups, and also uh, indirectly by uh, contractors and auditors uh, who've been providing advice to the Solomon Islands government. Specifically, some of these concerns, they go to some core questions. Uh, one, are there assumptions that this can be paid back, as the Solomon Islands government says, with revenue from these towers? Is that really a plausible argument? Um, can you get the indirect economic benefits from these towers that you need to actually pay back the loan and the interest? Uh, two, were other vendors other than Huawei, uh, the uh, Chinese telco selected, actually given an opportunity to bid for this? Uh, and three, uh, do you really need a proposal of this expense, this magnitude, uh, in a country like Solomon Islands, where in some cases you've got villages that are exceptionally remote? So it's a controversial and contentious proposal, uh, but the government of Solomon Islands, for the moment at least, seems intent on pushing ahead with it.